Hi, welcome back. So let's talk a little bit about crying. So crying is a big reason why a lot of babies are not sleeping well and it's also a reason why parents don't start sleep training because they are not comfortable with the crying and they think they're going to harm their baby if they allow them to cry. So that will be the first question parents will ask me if I follow the cried out method. And it's a very difficult question to answer because every person's interpretation and understanding of the cried out method is different. So I would immediately answer no because we don't follow the cried out method at Happy Sleepers. We follow the camp out method. But cried out method means that you're going to put your baby down, walk out and not to return um, and we, we don't do that but even with the camp out method there will be a degree of crying when we start the process. It is impossible to teach a baby a long-term sleep skill without a lot, uh, you know, a lot of crying and there's reasons, valid reasons why your baby is crying and it's not because you're harming your child. So the first reason why your baby will be crying is because of the change. We're going to make changes around his sleeping environment and his sleeping habits and he's not going to like it. Babies like things to stay the same every single day they, because it looks familiar to them. Um, you can't explain to your baby, okay, we're going to make changes now because you need to sleep better. Um, he's not going to understand that. So he only goes on signals and signs um, and he learns it and then he starts recognizing it. And now you're changing everything he knows. So um, that's why he's crying because he's not happy with what you're doing. So you can just imagine for yourself, if you've been sleeping on the left side of the bed, you've, had your, you've got your specific pillow, you've got a glass of water, and you've got your specific routine every night before you go to bed, and now I come and tell you, okay, we've, we need to make a few changes, it's going to be good for you and it's better for you, um, but let's... Uh, you need to sleep on the right side of the bed now. We're going to give you a different pillow. You need to sleep in other clothes, no more water. Um, you're going to be upset and this not you're going to resist the change and you're not going to like it because you as an adult knows that it's going to affect your sleep. Um, and that's what you're used to. That's your habit. But unfortunately... Um, you can't explain it to your child. You as an adult is not going to cry because you're not a baby, but you're not going to like it. And that's why your baby is crying because he doesn't understand um, and, and, and you're making the changes. The second reason why your baby is crying is because he's frustrated. He wants to go to sleep. He's, he's tired, but now you're not rocking him anymore. Um, you're just putting him in the cot and expect him to sleep and he doesn't know how to. So he's frustrated. He, he's really tired and he wants to go to sleep but he doesn't know how to. So both reasons are causing um, upset from your baby um, because that's the only way he knows how to communicate with you that he's not happy with, with what you're doing. Um, you're not harming your child. Um, so I just want you to understand that difference. Uh, the other, other concepts that you need to try and understand is for months or for whatever time you've been rocking your baby in your arms and you made him sleep probably in your arms and then you transfer him asleep to the cot. Now you put him is, um, in his cot awake. So it's the first time he's awake in his cot. He's never been in that environment awake. 
so he doesn't know the area um, and he doesn't understand why he's here so that can also cause upset and a bit of confusion another thing that people don't think about is again you make your baby asleep in your arms so he's asleep and sort of in a more upright position rather than flat laying down um, when you make him asleep so when he's in his cot and you keep laying him down when it's a little bit of an older baby um, he's going to keep sitting up or standing up or crawling because he doesn't know he's meant to lay down when you want to go to sleep so keep standing up um, may also upset you because you don't understand why is he not laying down but he probably don't know that he's meant to lay down when he needs to fall asleep so to be bothered and upset um, to hear and listen to your babies crying when you start the sleep training is normal it's it's normal to be upset by 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 that and i wish there was a better way and an easier way to do this um, but unfortunately there isn't um, so let's um let's focus on the reason why you're doing this and why it's going to be better for you and your family and your baby if he starts sleeping better it depends how old the baby is if he's going to start sleeping through the night or is it just going to be um, to improve his sleeping in general um, but when you sit there and you started the program and he is so upset just try to focus on the reasons why you wanted to start this process and there can be many reasons um, if your baby keeps waking up every 45 minutes overnight and needs to be resettled back to sleep with breastfeeding to sleep or rocking or patting that's definitely not a healthy environment to be in because he's going to be exhausted in general um, and you're going to be exhausted day and night because nobody is sleeping well um, and Sleep is a basic human need. You, we all need sleep to function properly and um, your baby needs sleep to grow up the best he can. But if he keeps waking up every 45 minutes, that is something that needs to change. If you are co-sleeping with your baby because that's the only way he's able to fall asleep and because of that your husband or partner is not sleeping in his own bed anymore, that's also not a healthy environment for, for you as a parent and your marriage and relationships. Um, that also needs to change. So those are valid reasons why you want to start sleep training or just to teach your baby an internal skill so he's able to resettle and go back to sleep independently. So try to focus on that instead of the, the crying and in, in my view um, a, a few nights usually one or two nights of crying really outweighs um, a lifetime of sleeping if you can get your baby in two or three days to start sleeping through the night um, he starts eating better he's growing up the best he can and he's gonna be a really good student at school because he's sleeping well that really outweighs um, a few nights of crying um, so just try to focus on that thank you for listening <music>